Hi everyone, it's Miss Jan at the Woodlands Children's Museum and we want to welcome you to Storybook Theater, but also we want to welcome you to our birthday party. Today's the 10th birthday of the Woodlands Children's Museum and Gus is here with me to celebrate. And instead of our story song today, Gus asked if he could sing happy birthday to the museum. And of course he can, so you guys sing along with him, okay? Happy birthday to the Woodlands Children's Museum. You ready? Oh, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear, the Woodlands Children's Museum. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Gus, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Why don't we take a bow? And this is a special day, isn't it? So I'm going to let you hang out here. There we go. And we have our treasure chest with us today. And oh my goodness, there's, hmm. There's cupcakes. Looks like one is missing. Gus, did you get hungry? It's okay. It's all right. I love cupcakes too. So I guess the book has something to do with cupcakes. So let's, you know what? I'm going to put them down because I know I'll knock them over. And here's the book. Oh, that's why there were cupcakes there. Happy Birthday Cupcake by Terry Border. Happy Birthday Cupcake. Happy Birthday to Woodlands Children's Museum too. And before I even start the story, it says, this book is dedicated to all the makers of delicious cupcakes and muffins too. I'll go for that. I love cupcakes and muffins. Today's my birthday, Cupcake said, and I want to share it with friends. But what kind of party should I have? What do you think? A party for cupcakes and, hmm, look at it. This looks like butter to me. And that, I don't know if that's a donut or an eclair, but I think I'm gonna be really hungry as I read this story to you. Cupcake called Muffin over to plan and they took a long walk. There's, that's not a dog, is it? Their pet, Eclair. I know, Cupcake said, I'll have a beach party. We'll make sprinkle castles and play in the sun. Look at some of the friends. Does that look like peanut butter and jelly? Oh, I am getting hungry, everybody. That might work, said Muffin, but the beach is so hot and some of us might get drippy. Cupcake touched her frosting. Muffin was right. Yeah, I guess for sure the ice cream is getting drippy and the chocolate bar and the glazed donut. Drippy but good, huh? I know, Cupcake said. I could get a big boat. Who wouldn't come to a floating party? Here's the boat and it says root beer float on it. And, oh my goodness. Well, here's a healthy pear and a lemon. There's peanut butter and jelly again. And there's cupcake and muffin. Oh, pretzel. Their friend pretzel is also on the root beer float. Oh, and banana. Don't forget banana. That might work, said Muffin. But if the ship rocks, Soup might lose his lunch. Ooh, oh my goodness. Soup did lose his lunch. And it looks like it's alphabet soup because these noodles say, sorry. And these noodles say, oops. And, oh, yuck, these noodles say seasick. Okay, let's turn the page. Let's turn the page quick. Here we go. Cupcake fidgeted with her wrapper. Muffin was right. She had to think of something else. I know, Cupcake said. 
I'll get everyone makeovers. It's so much fun getting frosted and sprinkled. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Moms out there, do you like getting frosted and sprinkled? That might work, said Muffin. But I think some of your friends would find makeovers icky. Just think about hamburger. Oh, I don't know about hamburger with frosting and sprinkles. What do you think? I mean, somebody might like that. Cupcake felt like she was starting to crumble. Muffin was right again. Hamburger barely even liked himself with ketchup. I know, Cupcake said. We could play musical chairs. I could find a band. Okay, this sign, I'm just reading what it says. It says, the musical fruit. And we've got kidney beans and baked beans and black beans. That's the band. That might work, said Muffin. But if someone sits down really fast, you'll be squished. Who's sitting down really fast? That looks like a potato, doesn't it? Cupcake didn't know what to do. She was running out of ideas. Well, what about limbo, she asked with prizes for the winners. I don't know if you know what the limbo dance or limbo rock is, is but there's usually a stick of some kind. In this case, it's a straw. And then everybody has to go under, kind of going under this way, leaning back. So do you think that's gonna work for a party? Let's find out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, can you tell what happened? Big prizes, asked Muffin. Oh, yes, that, that might work, but can you get low? I don't think Cupcake can get low enough. She lost some of her frosting on the limbo stick straw. It's hard planning a party, isn't it? As they reached Muffin's place, Cupcake sighed. <sighs> I'm going to go stale before I think of a good idea. Let's just take a break in my garden, Muffin said. That might work, Cupcake agreed. Cupcake pushed open the gate and... Surprise! Cupcake's friends were all there. They're giving Cupcake a surprise party. And while they were dancing, a few friends did get a little drippy. Cupcake didn't limbo too well and did get a little bit squished. But it was still the best birthday party that anyone could remember. Aw. Well, happy birthday, Cupcake, and happy birthday to the Woodlands Children's Museum. Thank you so much for joining us for this special storybook theater today. Bye-bye, everybody.